have such awesome content. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to 88 Racing. This is our day two in Aizol. And uh, in the daytime we had some work and I was waiting for the entire day to shoot this because I want to show you something very special. Now, as I mentioned before, Aizol is going to be the next hotspot for motorsport racing and for motorsport enthusiasts, be it track racers, off-road racers, tourers, everything. I mean, these guys have got everything here. So with that, especially with the track thing, we need a place uh, like in Delhi, we have got uh, many places for working there properly. In Guwahati, we have got me. So like that, we in Aizol, we want a place to go to. Uh, if you need to make your bikes track ready and you need to tune your suspensions, get your throttle bodies worked on, proper stuff. I'm not talking some, you know, uh, cheap stuff and makeshift work. I'm talking about proper detailed work. So we need to go to a place, such a place. And I am here at one such place and I'm gonna show you in detail. Can you make a guess which bike this is? Well, I'm showing you just one eye right now. We'll show the entire bike sometime later. So right now where I'm standing is the Vankama building in Dwarpoi area in Aizol. And the garage which is gonna open, it's not open yet to the public, where we're gonna be its first visitors. And this place is called Skunk Works Garage. It's coming up very soon for the public. And this is located, again, I would say this, Vankama building, Dwarpui, Aizol. Okay, now let's jump in, go inside and see what's going on. So this is my first step inside Skunk Works. And look at this. Don't look at him. <laughs> He's just in the frame, but look at this. Can you just imagine this? This stuff is in Aizol. Can you just imagine? For me, it's the first time seeing such a well set up workshop and they have got basically everything. I mean, just look at these things. These are adjustable linkages. MCS 19. This stuff is hard to find even in Delhi. And this is here in Aizol. Lower triple trees, upper triple trees. These are monoblocks, Brembo monoblocks. Rotors, racing rotors. Voila, we have the jackpot Olins. This is called the gold of racing. And then we have a few, uh, these are daily use products, like liquid moly and all that stuff. This is a beautiful grinding machine. It's a new gen, I suppose, because it's the one I used. Then used to have all this protection stuff. Look at this, look at these. They are equipped to the smallest possible tools. And everything, everything you see here is almost, this is, wow, this is a Olin's spring. Nice. And by the way, this is the only place in Aizol where you can actually work on suspensions. And these guys, they use for working on a suspension, they'll use all Olin's stuff only. This is Olin's grease, red grease. Very rare. We have to import this. This is the suspension fluid from Olin's. I haven't seen this being used by many people. Only in Ducati Delhi, we use this for our bikes uh, because that's a Ducati team, obviously. But finding something of this sort in Aizol, I mean, the guys here are really lucky. All special tools made. And this thing, this stuff, this is a very peculiar thing that I found, okay? I have seen other vices also, but this, you can, you know, turn it, you can rotate it. You can work, work any way you want to with this stuff. It's so easy to maneuver. Very costly, I suppose, but nevertheless, it's here. Let's just go through some tools on this rack. This must be suspension stuff. Let's see more what we have here. Some more stuff. This, this is another very important tool that we hardly see to open up some four top caps, especially Olin's. Everything is so sophisticated. I mean, to have a workshop of this kind here, it's, it's really unexpected. I never thought, 
because last time I was here, we came for racing. Well, I was a kid, and as you know, my racing journey started started from Izol only. So when we came here for racing, we didn't have all this, and we used to go to the company workshops. Or look at this. This is a portable one. You know, you need to cut small things. This is here, and everything is so neatly placed. The equipment level here. is it's just like getting into an operation theater or a very good hospital most of it is totally unseen we have we have i don't know what all here everything everything i'll not open up everything because uh i don't want to mess things up i saw one very peculiar thing this a puller i've seen people hammering on the engines and trying to pull out uh, that uh, clutch hub and all that stuff but when you have this this kind of equipment you feel like you're on top of the world because at least for us who work on bikes we know how important this stuff is just look at this wow wow So let me not take too much of your time showing you tools, but this is my favorite drawer. Just look at this collection. And this is the most precious ones and my most favorite, the torque wrenches. It's so important to torque your stuff properly, because if you are not torquing them properly, you risk a lot of things. You risk damages. You risk crashes. all in all you risk your money so this is very important now that this is done i want to uh, introduce you to the guy who actually owns this place and who is the mastermind of this entire setup he is actually working on a bike right next to me but uh, i'm going to introduce you to him and also tell you the history of everything and you know about it already who he is but still i am going to ma make a formal introduction so he is alex he is my mentor and i told you this before even in the last vlog uh, but actually uh, this is the truth so racing for me started here in mizoram and he was the one who taught me everything from ground up and even till date uh, he is helping me out even with the setup and everything because you have seen i have never hired a suspension tuner right over there because it was always on the phone and it was always him guiding me through now uh, let's leave my story out of this vlog because i want to concentrate on the future the future is all of you coming to isol and we need you to be help the right way and he is the guy to help you out so i just want you to tell me like how did the idea of this workshop come to you Actually, it's been a long time dream of mine. So, see, we've been uh, walking around in garages, like uh, makeshift garages. I used to work in my uh, this thing uh, where I have to actually work in my actual garage where the car is. I have to remove the car and all that. So, it's been always been a dream for me to set up a proper garage where we can actually do a proper work in the proper way. So, let's hope we can actually do that. But then. It's up to the customers. Is it proper or not? <laughs> True. So, uh, can you tell us what you were doing on this bike? Because when I came here, well, I was already late, a bit late, because mm -hmm. I was working that side. Okay. So, can you just uh, tell us what you were doing to this bike? Because I saw a lot and a lot of stuff over <laughs> here, and I know that this, these things, somehow is connected to this bike. So, can you tell us what you were exactly doing, and why? Why is this thing? Connected to a pipe that goes up all the way there. Uh, What's happening? Actually, uh, uh, this is the throttle body sync tool. So we were just syncing the uh, throttle body. We were actually trying to monitor the valve system. Uh, so the performance of the valve. Yeah, like you've seen, uh, we're trying to add a lot of parts to this bike, and we're about to, we just drain the brake fluid on this uh, bike. So yeah. with this vacuum machine, it becomes a lot easier. And these days, the bike, most bikes come with this. Uh, Stupid ABS thing, and yeah. it's always a pain in the backside to bleed them. So with this vacuum machine, you can just suck out everything, huh. create a negative pressure inside, and 
Once you uh, po, uh, get the uh, oil back in and it comes in with the uh, uh, negative pressure so there's no chances of uh, having any air in the system. So it's like that and this is my old seven, uh, 675. So let's see how far we can kit it up to match the latest uh, 765 RS. So, like I told you guys, I told you that I'm going to show you a very special bike. Well, here it is. This is Alice's new 765 Street Triple RS. And this is the first Street Triple RS of the year 2022. It's not like we didn't have RS before, we did. But this is the first RS in Northeast, 2022 Street Triple RS in Northeast. Now, note this again, I'm saying 2022. Please don't shout at me in the comment section for this, okay? We also have a lot of Liquimoli stuff. Achha, uh, coming back to this, I have seen that you have put a nice Olin suspension. Yeah. Uh, uh, the rear. Yeah, this is a TTX one. So, uh, I've removed the spring and I've uh, put on another spring. Actually, this TTX comes from a Daytona 675. Okay, so we have to match. It. But uh, but I can see one thing. I can see one thing that this is not stock. Yeah. Something's been done to this as well. Yeah. So can you just tell us what has been the modification uh, done to this? The shock. Yeah, the rear shock. It has a. It has actually, from what I can see, it has two modifications. Yeah. To the so, uh, stock one. Uh, first will be the preload digester, which is the hydraulic. Uh, this hydraulic this part, yeah, yes, hydraulic preload adjuster. Yes. Then I have revived the system. Yes. Because uh, the TTX system, it's a little bit too harsh for the road, so may, we mainly ride on the roads. So, uh, this bike doesn't track it, actually. So uh, the forks as, uh, will be revived as well with the new uh, O-rings and the seals and obviously. Uh, Remember brakes will upgrade and M50 monoblock calipers, custom uh, triple cams, then we'll get this MCS master cylinder as well where we can actually... So, uh, do you absolutely yeah. need this MCS 19 on this bike? Yeah, MCS uh, is a very good system because uh, like a RCS system, you can actually adjust the span here. Not just the span, but then you can actually adjust the ratio of the master cylinder here. So you can adjust the pressure which is going to the piston. So okay. you can literally adjust the uh, brake as you like it. And right here we have something which is a pro of a prototype. Mm, I have designed this myself. So this is this has been yeah. manufactured by you? Not really manufactured. I've designed it and okay. I've given it to the CNC people. Huh. Uh, so ultimately it's your design, so ultimately it's your kind of, you can say it's your patent, I mean your manufacturing yeah. thing. Yeah. So this, uh, this is an adjustable linkage system, so this will, with this system we can adjust the right height to any uh, angle that we want, it's a swing arm angle as well. Yeah. Plus, uh, this will help us adjust the fork uh, rake angle without actually uh, adjusting the front uh, part. Okay. Okay. Without messing up the front setup. That's, that's so, really nice. Yeah, and this is the linkage plate. So I feel that uh, the stock linkage on the 675 was a little bit too progressive. So we have made it more linear. That's about, yeah, what we have. Actually, to I have seen a lot and lot of tools everywhere I go. Some crazy, crazy stuff. And some custom stuff also these things i think this is custom made yeah because i have never seen such a tool anywhere else yeah this uh, i've designed and uh, got it made myself i have uh, given the specification out so this is a fork compressor tool so with this tool you don't need three four guys to open up the forks anymore because with this upside down cartridge forks as everyone knows it's pretty hard to open them up and you need all the help you can get so, uh, so the top part goes here yeah and this holds it and this pulls the other part yeah. okay and it just uh, compresses the fork that's really nice yeah 
So what do we have here, KTC Racing Company? Yeah. Is I that uh, is that something secret or can I show it? In? Sure, sure, sure. Let's talk about it. Okay. So this is a fork for sure. Let me guess. Hmm. It's a fork, but it's too short for a fork. <laughs> I, what, what's going on? Actually, it is a crazy system. This is a upside down fork. Yeah. Uh, but but which... why is it so short? It's actually for a Arox. It's a fully adjustable uh, adjustable system huh. with the yeah with the compression and rebound and Whoa. even uh, bigger. It's supposed to be a nitrogen filled uh, system, pressurized fork. So we know Whoa. we don't even get a pressurized fork on most sports bike. Okay. So. Yeah, that's what that's what because and why are you modifying the Arox to such an extent? I mean, putting these things. I have seen the Arox already. But I'm not showing it to people because it's not fully ready yet. Yeah. But why, why so much so much expense on Aerox? Aerox as it's a standard platform, it's a very good platform uh, for a scooter. Uh, it's a dream engine. That's for, uh, yeah, it, does look like a, it does look like a UB underbone bike from the ARRC yes, yes, yes. racing category. Yes, that's true. And once you ride it, you get all the premium feel from the scooter except for the suspension. That's where the problem is. And comes with a very uh, harsh suspension as you say as you can put it like the rear is harsh the front is way too soft so this belongs to a friend uh, this will go to a friend of mine who I would really give want to give a shout out for unfortunately this good friend of mine lost his leg on, on an accident and by the third month he's already bike, back on a two-wheeler with his uh, prosthetic legs so Cheers to this guy and this can only be seen in Mizoram. That's the riding spirit in Mizoram. I mean, no wonder you produce the best of the best boys from Northeast. And on the national grid, most of your guys are already there. And this is the reason. And we need to join in on the fun very soon. Once the track is ready, we need to join in here. So uh, what I would like to know is when does this workshop officially open for all the customers? Actually, we will need a little bit more time, like say, Mm, maybe a week or two so we'll start working on this AROX and uh, this uh, sweet triple that we have so I think more or less uh, by week after next yeah. so in two more weeks this workshop is gonna function and will you be able to cater to uh, people from other states because I'm pretty sure that a lot of people from all over India who will be coming here for racing, touring, off-road racing, they'll all want to come have proper facilities uh, like you have right now over here. So will you be able to cater to all of them? Sure, sure, sure. That's actually, uh, that's a main aim of this uh, workshop so that uh, we could cater to everyone who would like our services. <laughs> so say per se, like uh, we would really welcome any anyone from ourselves here. So guys, now our duty is to come here and race, come here and tour, visit Mizoram. It's a beautiful place. Next vlog, I'll, I'll take you to one site, uh, which is, what was the name of the place we're going tomorrow? Muifang. Muifang. So we're going to Muifang tomorrow with the KTM group and I'm going to show you the entire place. It's beautiful. All of Mizoram is beautiful. Please come here. Please join in on the fun travel and explore this beautiful place i know there's a little bit of issue with the ilp applying and all that uh, but i have cleared all your doubts in my previous vlog if you haven't checked that vlog there must be a card up there already please go ahead and check that vlog also our duty as a biker to a good technician is that we have to support him if we don't obviously a businessman is not going to come here and support us so we should support him so that he can build up on this thing and you know enlarge the entire thing and make it bigger so that we get more support in the future because this is the future of racing right here in northeast and right here in Mizoram. So with that said, I would like to bring this entire vlog to a conclusion. And do you have anything to say for the viewers? So let's get it started. Yep. Let's get this thing started. And if you like this vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So bye bye guys. See you next time on 88 Racing.